we make it so that people find us when they're, you know, still in, you know, 20, 2018, they're, you know, they've been doing it for years now. They're, they're going to Google, the Google, and they're typing in, you know, property management and then whatever city. And, you know, bottom line is if you're not showing up there in the search results for those keywords, then you're just, you're, you don't have a chance of people, you know, calling your business. And, and we've said over and over again, is that, you know, that's just not on Google. It's also on Bing and Yahoo. And, and, you know, when you do the things that we're going to talk about today, you, you'll not only show up on Google, you're all, you'll also show up on Bing and Yahoo as well. And you'll show up on the maps. But if you don't do this stuff, you're just not, people aren't going to be able to find you. And there's some specific, unique, strategies that pertain to property management companies um, that might not apply to other businesses that that would help you uh, that that you want to listen to this that we've learned over the years will help you with your local search engine optimization now local meaning you know showing up on the maps and and also showing up with your website organically in the search results when somebody types in your any of your your keywords so anyway I hope that makes sense. Yep, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> Why don't share real quick? Look, it's working. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, and by the way, we so what Crystal just showed you there as well is this is one of the strategies. This is I, you know we we're not going to have all that those words up there at the top because yeah um, we're going to keep this really nice and clean, but. You know, one of the strategies that we teach is you want to increase the time on site um, for your website and you want to decrease the bounce rate. And by implementing what Crystal showed you in the beginning there where it had that pop up screen um, so that, you know, somebody could start a conversation with you. What it does is it allows people to start a conversation with you. And, um, and it, keeps, it, it allows you to keep them on site for longer and it decreases the bounce rate. So time on site goes up, bounce rate goes down, scroll rate goes up, meaning they scroll down typically more. And um, this is one way to do this is, is to create your content, put it all on one page. So there's the, there's the welcome to our live video watch page, you know, um, banner or uh, screen takeover. And what this does that allows you, allows us to start conversations with in, via chat I get a notification when somebody takes the action there, which, you know, it says, right. I tell people very specifically what to do, you know, start a conversation. So they, they tap on the start a conversation button down below. And if you'll, if you'll do that, Crystal, then, then, um, yeah, down, see, see, no, well, no, 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 no. Oh yeah. Just re reload the page. Yeah. Okay. Reload the page. And then, yeah. And, and then just click on the blue button below at the bottom of that. So that, and this is, this is, uh, one of this is one of the strategies that you can implement in order to uh, increase your search engine optimization. Because when you do this, there you go. See the blue button. See the blue button. Mm, I'm not seeing a blue button. This I all on I the see. Bottom of, yeah, right there, right there. That's to start it. a conversation. Okay. That's it. Go ahead and click on that. Okay. Okay. So when so when Crystal just when she just clicked on that. What that does is you can see it popped open the window on the side to start a conversation. So this is one of the ways, one of the strategies, it's not one of the top ones, but it's, it's definitely one of the, one of the strategies, one of the, one of the 10 that Crystal has written out there and put in the description of this uh, video. But um, you can see that, I mean, you know, putting all of your past, present and up next, vi you know, content, live video content here on a page, so you can send people to one consistent page so that they camp out here. That increases your time on site. This creates a lot more um, Google, Google love, if you will. <laughs> yeah. And um, so that's a, that's a good thing. So um, I think you put together a, a, a list, right, Crystal? It's in the yeah. description as well. Of, okay. I did. I put a list together. But I was thinking, I don't know if I pulled up examples here. Okay. So what... Um, we can go backwards since we started with chat. <laughs> yeah. So what Ryan was just showing you was, was like he said, add chat to your website. So that was number 10. And then going up, we have 
uh, schema. And so we have talked about this a few times, but I'll go to schema.org. Mm, let's go to the structured testing tool. How about that one? Yeah, so what this is, is this is just schema is, just think, think of schema as being Google's language, okay? So if, you, if you're speaking schema, you're speaking Google's language, and that will, then you'll, you'll actually be seen as a more favorable website and a more easily um, understood website by Google because you're speaking, the, the content on the page is, is very easy for, get, for Google's spiders to comprehend. So when you do that and you speak Google schema, then um, the schema language, then what happens is, is, you know, you, as you would expect, you get better rankings. You actually rank higher in the search results. And, and, um, and that's one of the, one of the strategies that's going to become more and more important. And not only that, not only do you rank higher, you actually get more real estate. So you actually get a, an enhanced, an enhanced listing in the search results. So you'll actually show up if you're a restaurant with additional information listed with your business based on what additional uh, schema content you put on your site so that Google can see that. If Google doesn't see it, it doesn't show it up in the search results and you don't get that extra real estate. So that's uh, a really important you know, tool to be leveraging right there for sure. Yeah. Anything else, Crystal? Nope, that's all. And if you have additional questions, send us a message. <laughs> we can send yeah. you the link as well. Okay, next one. Create and connect your social media accounts to your website. Yeah, yeah and definitely, yeah, send us a chat. That's why we, we added, you know, we now are going to be going live always from that live watch page is because you can always now start a chat conversation with us and and you know whenever you want to you can just go right to the live watch page or and, and watch this content and engage with us and ask us questions right there and and uh we will respond in in real time yeah i i was going to show an example here but i've got so many links i can't remember which one i'm going to show me an oh, example here we of go. what Okay, so right here for our next one, which is create and connect your social media accounts to your website. So right here to give you an example, we have our social media sites um, yeah. on our website. <clears throat> yep. And we also have a, a Sumo uh, plugin that allows people to share our content as well. So, you know, you definitely want to make it very easily shareable, your, your, your anything on your website, any blog content, et cetera. Perfect. Okay. Next one is create and connect YouTube channel to your website and embed videos on the website. Yeah. So we have our blog here. Yeah. And so whenever you create a, a blog post or any, anything like even the live watch page, you'll, I mean, those are embedded videos. So you can embed either a previously recorded or a future scheduled video and there's a there's a video right there that's an example of an embedded video and that does help your ranking significantly when you do that it, it makes it really it really does enhance your ability to be able to um, rank higher in the search results especially when you keyword optimize the blog post with the same keyword that that video is keyword optimized for now you can target that blog post using the Yoast plugin for WordPress, for example, with to up to five different keywords. Um, and the video though, you really want to just target one keyword for the video. But so whatever your top keyword is that you're targeting with the blog post, you'll want to also target that same top keyword in with, you know, that one keyword on your video. Also, Ryan, would you recommend that it be YouTube video rather than Facebook, for example? Um, I, I would, and, and here's the reason why, is because, um, here's why, it's, it's a very good question. Um, all day long, <laughs> because, <laughs> because Facebook, I mean, Facebook's great, but here's mm -hmm. the deal. 
uh, Facebook uh, does not have the longevity. And like, for example, this, this applies to our embed codes for our videos as well, Crystal. Um, any embedded videos that we do on our live video watch page and that you guys do, I would definitely embed those YouTube videos because um, Facebook is, is more of a, it's a social video platform. It's not a, although it's got a ton of views, it's not a long-term search. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do a search and find X, Y, Z video. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's a social sharing um, site and your video will only have legs, so to speak. It will only have reach for maybe a day or two that it's, that it stays in a timeline in your, in your timeline or, or that it's, that it's immediately relevant based on the shares that, you know, that people are giving it. But if you, if you do actually create a YouTube video and you post it to your website, like, like this, that video will have huge reach because it will typically rank in the search results and it'll boost the ability for that page, that blog post to rank higher for that, that keyword as well. It's been proven. So you get a double benefit. Not only does the page potentially rank higher uh, because you've embedded that YouTube video, which obviously is everybody, most everybody knows YouTube's owned by Google. So, you know, Google wants you to use the tools, like I've always said that, that it has. And if the more you're able to use its tools and mm -hmm. its content and its platforms, the more that it's going to give you what you want. And that's, yep. you know, obviously additional searches. So for that reason, absolutely, because you're going to get more long-term, you know, findability <laughs> for that, for that, not only the blog post that you embed the video on, but also uh, for the YouTube video as well. Um, that's the big reason why I would embed YouTube videos uh, for sure. hundred percent. Perfect. Thank you, Ryan. Yep. <laughs> I know that question yeah. coming up. Yeah. So I figured I'd ask. Yeah. Okay. Start off page optimization with link building. So when I know we don't have, you know, we got to be cognizant of the time that we have. I think yeah. we have like, you know, what, 18 more minutes, but, um, or yep. no, 15 more minutes, but, but um, start off page. So basically, and, and I want to also say that, you know, if you, there are other platforms, you can use Vimeo and, and there's, there's other platforms like screencast and, you know, you can use those other platforms and sometimes it does make sense on a landing page, you know, like if you're not trying to, you know, optimize the page to, for search results to put a, you know, to use a different, you know, like type of embed uh, plat uh, platform to embed that video, because you might want to track, for example, how long or how much of that video somebody has watched, you know, so, you know, you can use, so many there's so many platforms out there that you can you know do that with but um so i just wanted to say that so link building um absolutely this is a, a really important uh piece of the puzzle what this is is and we've talked we've created videos about this already and i would reference to have people reference those um in terms of creating links back to yeah. the um um, the, the blog post or the website that you are using as your, as your website, because he, here's why, I mean, what, what's happening is, is Google's looking for those links. It's looking for, for community connections, you know, just like we, you know, we build connections in the community. So Google's looking for that. And the thinking is that the more connections that you have in your, you know, local community, especially as a local, if you want to do local SEO, you want to get local links from local businesses so it, you know for example if you sponsor a, like i've said before you know any philanthropies or charities um or any other local businesses that are your your strategic partners if you can get them to link back to you as a local business it will significantly increase your chances for lo to rank locally especially on the maps you know if um for that for that business now um that's what link building is. I mean, it's just, it's just creating or having a link from that website to your website. And preferably what you'd like to see is you'd like to see the words that are, that are being used to link back to your site. Those are called, that's called the anchor text. You want that, those words to preferably be your targeted keywords. So example, for example, if a property management company is trying to rank for the keyword property management, you know, San Antonio, you would want 
that uh, strategic partner to uh, create a paragraph. And then when they link back to your company's site, you would want the word that they're using to link back to your site to be property management San Antonio. So that that's the anchor text. That's, that's what, that's the, the word that in essence passed through to your site as being relevant. So they're, so Google's seeing that and they're seeing, Oh, this must be a, you know, this website might, must have something to do with the words property management San Antonio, which is exactly what you are looking for. I mean, you want those keywords to pass through that, that link juice with those keywords to pass through to your site. Okay. So that's, that's what, that's what off page optimization. It's not, it's not on page. It's, it's, it's getting those off page links back to your site. So, okay. And the next one claiming yep. additional <laughs> directories, which are the top 72 that we recommend. Yeah. And, and for property, keeping this focus on property management companies, I mean, there's, there are more, mm -hmm. um, there, there are some, there are some property management specific directories out there that are more important than others. I mean, you know, obviously, um, you know, like realtor.com, if you can, you know, get listed on, on that, uh, you know, as a, as a property management company or any other local, here, here's the other thing. If you can get listed on a directory for like NARPM, the National Association of Property Managers, um, those specific, you know, there's, there's obviously other NARPM type organizations in Canada and, and yeah. the UK and Australia and New Zealand, et cetera. Um, you want to get listed on those, on those directories. Those are really, really important for your, for your business and any other local property management niche specific um, directories, if, if you have them or sites that mm -hmm. refer to, you know, property managers, um, or that would, you know, that would have something to do with property management. So anyway, the yeah. claiming these 72 additional directories, there's, there's 72 that are generically like the top directories for all businesses. And you just want to go out there and, and claim them and set them up and create them. And then obviously key thing is, is to put that link, that all important link in the directory that links back to your website. Perfect. Okay, on-page optimization of website. <laughs> so on-page optimization of website, um, well, well, let me, what do you think it is? I'll let you answer this. Okay, well, this is just as we talked about before, just to give an example over here, is we specifically keyworded um, things that we were targeting. So not only are you doing this on your blog posts, but you're doing this on each page. Correct, Ryan? Yes. Exactly. Okay. So you're using the keywords in the title in, uh, of, the, of the blog post. You're using the keywords in the video, like I said okay. before. Mm -hmm. You're using it in, um, uh, in the images that you put on the page. So mm -hmm. in the alt text of the images, you're using those keywords that you're targeting a certain percentage of the overall number of words that are in the, in the post itself. Um, you're also using the keywords in um, uh, paragraph um, headers, so like headlines. So you want to use those in the headlines. Um, there's, a, there's. A, that's why we use Yoast because it makes sure that you're that you're doing all of that stuff. It makes yeah. sure that you're really, you know, leveraging all of the different. There's about ten different um, things that you want to do in terms of, in addition to. Um, obviously using the title and the tags for the, for the blog post and making sure the slug, they call it a slug for the, you know, for the, um, uh, for the post is using the keyword and, and, you know, that's, that's what the on-page optimization is. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Now get more reviews. <clears throat> Since we kind of went backwards <laughs> first, I want to yeah. say the second one before I say get more reviews, which is really, you know, getting your business on Google. So you've got to uh, claim your Google My Business page, and then you've got to make sure you're on Google Maps and Google Plus, because you can't really get reviews if you don't have a Google My Business page. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you right? can, 
you can on other, you know, directories, but the main one that we're focusing on today is Google My Business. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. So, you know, there, there are instructions out there for setting up your Google My Business page. You want to give anybody some, you know, heads up on, you know, or, or things to watch out for when setting up their Google My Business page? Um, okay. Like as far as going to business.google.com to set up your Google My Business page? Yeah. I, okay. Yep. So, oh, well, I guess I can't really... Um, once you go to business.google.com, there is going to be a sign in at the top, right? I don't know if I can pull it up since I'm logged in. That's and okay. I, I don't want to log what, out. <laughs> what else would, what else, what are the other things that people would do to quote unquote optimize or Google my business page? Oh, well, every field needs to be answered. It can't go blank. So if it's asking yeah. for an address, you know, fill that information out. If it's asking for a phone number, well, let's go back. Make sure your address and your phone number is listed in the exact same way as it is on your website. So if you have street abbreviated on your website and then you spell street on, um, and then you spell out the word street on your Google My Business page, that's not really communicating correctly. So those have got to be right. correct. And then for your phone number, make sure your phone number is the same from your website over to your Google My Business page as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's awesome. That's really good. And, and um, you know, and then also things like, you know, a adding the uh, questions, you know, to the Google My Business page, you know, if you're in the US, you know, connecting um, Messenger so that, so that people can message yeah. you. Basically just like I've said before, using all the tools you know, that Google gives you access to when you, when you give Google what it wants, Google, you know, which is using their tools, then Google will give you what you want. And so there's a lot of really cool tools, like, you know, being able to add more photos and mm -hmm. add more posts. And, you know, you can even upload videos now directly to the Google, my business page outside of YouTube. So yeah. it's just, you know, obviously responding to reviews, you know, like all of those things, when you just, engage with your Google My Business page and do that. And Google sees that. I mean, it's, it's, there's a direct connection. And by the way, the other thing I want to mention is, is, you know, speaking of that is, you know, it's, it's connecting, for example, your Google My Business page to analytics, like connecting all of the different Google properties, you know, Google, Anal we we're just talking to Martina the other day and, or actually right. another customer yeah. and they didn't have analytics connected or they didn't know if they did. And, and so, you know, connecting, you know, your, all your Google accounts together, um, that tells Google something. And that, that is important for your overall search results. When Google sees that you're, that you have your YouTube channel connected to your analytics, connected to your, you know, um, search console, you know, connected to your, you know, yeah. everything, then that, that is a very, that's a little bonus, you know, that, that's a, a a bonus tip right there. Um, it's very important to make sure that you're using all of those available tools, not only, you know, for, for the benefits that you get, because Google will tell you what's, you know, what's not working on your site. It'll tell you if you have slow load times, it'll, if you, if you connect the Google search console, for example, mm -hmm. um, the analytics will tell you, you know, what kind of views you're getting and, and how many new users you have. And, so why not use these things? In addition, you know, you'll get the benefit of actually getting better results in the search results. So, yeah. yeah. And then once you do that, then yes, get reviews. You know, number three is get reviews. Like just ask for reviews, get as many as you can. Um, it does help your search results. People don't know that. And it's, and then answer the reviews when you get a review, like respond is really, really important. Yes. And then we got one more, right? And one more, which is the very first one that we recommend is running a SEO audit so that this really tells you what's out there and it gives you an outline of where to start. Yeah. Yeah. Run. Yeah. Run an, a search engine optimization audit. So you have a, a baseline. So, you know, and if you get a good audit, you know, there's tons of them out there. We use, uh, we use one that we've used for years. Um, and typically you'll see things like, you know, how many photos do you have in comparison to your competition? Um, 
you know, there's some good ways to be able to tell a good audit. Number one, you want to make sure that it's, that it's comparing you to your competition. So you can see what your competition is doing as well and not just you. Um, and then also you want to make sure that, that it's comparing a lot of different parameters. It's not just one or two. It's looking at, you know, like how many photos you upload, how many links, backlinks you have, um, you know, as many, I'd say minimum of five different parameters is what you want to make sure that you're, that, that particular search engine optimization audit is looking at, um, or else it's, you know, it's just not really doing a whole lot. So at least five different parameters, you want to be able to compare your, yourself to your competition with. And, um, and that would be, that would be something to look out for. So, yeah, I mean, start a conversation with us on the, on the page here. You yep. can always go to acceleratyourmarketing.com forward slash live um, in the future. If you want to, you know, if you want to see what, you know, uh, live videos we have scheduled, um, what live content we have coming up next and what we've done in the past. Um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, you'll, you'll see by, yeah, and you can start conversations there on that page. And, and actually, if you want, we can give you this list. I mean, if you ask, mm -hmm. if you ask for it, we'll give you the list. And um, if you start a, a chat conversation with us. Yep. Well, based off of what we've been working on, Ryan, what I was going to do was create um, a blog with this, embed the video on just like we tell everyone to do. <laughs> and then yep. because we kept that, we keep that local SEO outline that has all of our YouTube videos attached to the um, titles. I was going to mm. plug every title in based off of the top 10 that we gave um, for how to, um, let's see, let me go back here for this one. So local SEO for property managers, we have a video for each of these. And so I was just going to attach that into the blog. So if somebody wanted to, you know, further expand their, um, knowledge on that area, they could just cl click on that YouTube video. And then I was going to add our transcript script as well. So they have that text and recommendation Perfect. from so, um, so I have that, but in the meantime, until I, you know, get that blog, I'll also post it on our various websites. Um, I do have the blog post in our comments on Facebook of, you know, conversation marketing, your secret strategy to double leads, conversations and speed of sales. So that there, if you can click on that, it'll take you to our blog to explain that. And, and it'll also give you um, the opportunity to chat with us, like we've been talking about. Yep. Yeah. That's awesome. Thank you, Crystal. And what do we, what's the, on, on deck for next week? So for next week, let's see, last week we talked about online reputation. This week was local SEO. So next week we will touch base on Google, my business for that. All right. Week. Yep. Cool. All right, everyone. We'll create a great rest of your day. Thank you.